devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand there. You're listening to Amanda Thatcher, the granddaughter of the late British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, speaking at her grandmother's funeral this week in St. Paul's Cathedral in London. It was a remarkable life. It was a remarkable uh, eulogy and words that uh, Baroness Thatcher's granddaughter spoke here. The words of the Apostle Paul uh, from Ephesians chapter 6 that in a sense really did sum up the life of Margaret Thatcher. And in a week that had a lot of bad news, beginning with the bombings in Boston at the end of the Boston Marathon and the people who were injured and killed there, uh, to reflect with this young lady on a life well lived, but also upon the words of the Apostle Paul to stand, to stand strong for conviction, for courage against evil. I think th these are an appropriate uh, words to think about at this time. It sure is. It's a reminder, I think, of part of our mission statement, I think, as God's people, that if we're going to be prepared, we have to take up that armor and we have to put it on. Of course, as Ephesians 6 says, there's things that God gives us that we have to take from Him. So when He, he tells us that we've got to take the helmet of salvation, God gives it to us, we've got to take it and we've got to do something with it. So in order to be prepared for whatever's going to come, whether, you know, as we know, there's going to be difficulties, there's going to be lots of strife ahead. If we're going to be prepared to stand, we better take up that armor. As we even think here at this moment, uh, the perpetrators and the, all the reasoning behind the Boston Massacre, that great evil that took place this week, has not yet been fully determined. But even beyond the human elements who perpetrate such crimes, uh, there is an evil. And Paul, in these words here that were quoted by Amanda Thatcher at her grandmother's funeral, point us to the fact that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but that the evil in this world comes from spiritual places. And that is what must be remembered. And no matter where we take a stand against evil, it is important that we heed the words of Paul here and stand firm and strong in our convictions in God and His truth against the ultimate evil in this world that comes from spiritual wickedness from Satan the devil and those that he sometimes will use to perpetrate evil in this human realm. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.